Kesi TV lawan rasipi daka Frank Yamaha the Maxi Sport Scooter Aerox 155 ringkat baka net foodish order mapi ngin wan ramani hakir dob yeng jompi Ko All India Trinamool Congress kalap diang muram ya National General Secretary u Abhishek Banerji ha ka jinglet yo kejat jongka hatura ha ka sian baningkong e kum sibenta ban penkhlan ya ka Trinamool Congress Harilom Garo ha ka janmi jongka khatnyo tri unai wing arha jar pu ar u Abhishek Banerji tang shu yo kejat hatura u la play pat ba ya ka office tri kam jongka party ha ka bala sakhilang da state president ka Trinamool Congress u ba Charles Pendrop u nongelam kaliang persha u Dr Mukul Sangma ki MLA jongka party bat ki wei ki wei transformation 
And I'm very happy to see today, through all of you present, that you have decided to bring that change that the people are praying and hoping for. I profusely thank our party leadership, especially the Honorable Chairperson, Madam Mamta Banerjee, for reposing her trust and faith in us. Culture for better education, for better infrastructure, and for better future. The people realized in the meantime that we have to come out of this stagnancy of politics, stagnancy of economic situation, stagnancy of the development process. With the clarion call of the All India Trinamool Congress, under the leadership of Dr. Mukul Sangma and Charles Pingro and other leaders, we are committed to provide you that respectable service to the people of Meghalaya, particularly in the region of Garo Hills, today's meeting in Thura. We are also committed that the state of Meghalaya, which is enriched in culture, natural resources, the growth potential, we will encourage them. And the, this objective and subjective views are only can be attended by the strong struggle of the people of Meghalaya from the clutches of the present government. The issues of corruption, issues of non-development, issues of the rural development, issues of the urban development, issues relating to education, issues relating to female women empowerment, issues relating to the pathos of the unemployed youth will be addressed by our struggling leaders, potential leaders, tested leaders. You know them, you have tested them, Dr. Mukul Sangma, Charles Pingro and other leaders. Our General Secretary, Mr. Obisek Banerjee, he is a beacon light to the democratic movement, not only in Bengal, not only in Begaloi. He is the spirit of the youths, icon of the youths, and the symbol of democratic movement in India. We are waiting here to listen each direction and the speech. I will not take any much more time. We will listen to him, and I am convincingly convinced the people of Meghalaya, the people of Garo Hills in this meeting in Tura will carry the message of our leader to the grassroots level, to all corners of Meghalaya that All India Trinamool Congress is here. All India Trinamool Congress is here to uphold the dignity, prestige, decorum, spirit, culture, of the state, the great state Meghalaya. I wish you all good luck. In the coming struggle, we have to work more hard and hard. We have to show our integrity. We have to show our credibility in our work process.
ne karam skar pena ya zomena agap longen khushiyon bia khatcha bia ro na bek bachor ko nani na chuba ta odong ga pa antena chotsang gi da parti ga pai sol jiho ba ko mate che na khushiyon bia aro na shima sa kanchian chel be ga pa bia prao ni da lo ya da ke to be mong na aro khumo ani ko aro songir ka ni ko da na ning be so pa ha na shima sa kanchi ko Ang mga telche na kusyong bea, aro mga tela baksa, ang mga simang sa kanji ko, remchakso na kusyong bea. I would like to join all other leaders and my state president in welcoming our respective leader, the National General Secretary AITC, and also our state in charge, Dr. Manasji, and would like to place on record our sincere gratefulness and thanks to our chairperson, national chairperson, Mamata Didi, for sending her blessings and to ensure that we have this kind of privilege to come together and enter into a covenant in our resolve to serve the people and serve the state. Welcome once again, sir. Welcome, and uh, we would like to see you again and again, as Sarah said, that this is the first visit to Tura. But we'll be happy to see him again and again, both in Shillong and other parts of the state, in the days to come. Anchin Wamanko, Anchini National General Secretary, Arun Baksa Sokpagapa, Anchini Step in Church, General Secretary, Bishongko, Dunga Parangko, Rung Chaksona, Ansa Sakantian Hai, Changsatai, Jap Padokna. We welcome you once again. But she's of Tomas Kam. Antina, Antini, Magacham, Pagachamara, Antini Dunga Param, Antini Kasi, Jaintia, Aro Achet, Aro Plak, Antim Baksa, Ya Megaleo Songdong in the Plak Jatra Baksa. Absan, Kumongi, Rizalgapa, Antini, Makrikra, the Gabara, Antina, Yanam Big Pasket Co, Mandalay of Naha, Yanam Big Pasket Nun, Antin, Yas get me battering sea, Mangapara, Oma, Antin, then Tamansa, India, Sony, then Tang, then Tang, Yapo, Songdong, the Pama, Dera Maksa, Yatam Big Pai, India, Songdong, Yon. Then Tam Who has come for today's rally? Every time I have come to Meghalaya, Meghalaya, the state has not failed to surprise me. But today's rally is something which will remain with me for the years to come. Every time I have come to the state or stepped into Meghalaya, I have always come with an honest intention. I have come here to be with all of you in your fight against the autocratic forces. But after watching and observing today's rally, as a soldier of this party and one of your co-workers, I don't want to cause any detriment to anyone. But I am sure after today's rally, even before we have stepped in, we came, the meeting started, Pictures of today's rally has certainly gone to national puppet parties, gone mad. And after today's rally, they are going to have sleepless nights for sure. Every day, with your love and support, the Trinumbul Congress family is growing. And it's just a matter of time that in the next three months, after the corrupt, the proxy, NPP and the MDA government is uprooted from power. Every Meghalayan that walk in the state or walk freely on the road are going to walk and work with their head held high. <laughs> Meghalaya is not going to bow down before the autocratic forces in Delhi. Every Meghalayan will have its right. 
Like I've always said, sun rises from the east. And over the years we have seen that the east has been neglected and the northeast has been neglected. Friends, it's time to show the entire nation what the east and the northeast is capable of. It's time to show them that this time the sun is going to rise in the east, not in the west. And I'm sure Meghalaya will show that way and path to the rest of the northeast. I came to Meghalaya three, four months before. I had some programs in Khasi. Today I am in Tura, amongst all of you in Tura Law College ground. After the next 15, 20 days or a couple of weeks later when I come again, I would go, I would go to Jaintia. And the kind of love and humbleness and appreciation and support you have shown for Trinomul Congress, I bow my head to all of you and thanking each one of you for imposing your faith, for believing in the ideology of Mamata Banerjee and Trinamool Congress. Before I say something, I am going to make it very clear. Lot of people have been labeling Trinamool Congress as an outsider party. I want to ask them one simple question. In 2004, the son of this very soil, the very respected Honorable P.A. Sangmaji, contested on a Trinomul ticket. Was he an outsider then? He was not an outsider. So people who think by making false acquisition will be able to take on Trinomul and stop their mind, they are living in fool's paradise. Last time I, like, say, like I said, I visited Khasi and today I am in Garo among my Garo brothers and sisters. Next time I will go to Jayantia and in the coming months I will make sure that I make more frequent visits in this beautiful state to fully immerse myself in the glorious culture of Meghalaya. And four months back when we started this membership drive, we started with few hundreds. Today we have become a big humongous family with one lakh active member. That calls for a big round of applause. One lakh people have actively associated with Trinomul Congress in our quest, in our battle to make the state stand out and be number one in the country. I thank each one of you. I have always come to Meghalaya as a soldier of this grassroots party. A party who has always stand by people, who always stood by people, voiced their, con con voiced their concerns and championed their cause. Today, with the participation in big numbers, I see that the idea of Trinamool Congress has travelled far and wide. Meghalaya, especially from the last four and a half years, has seen complete chaos due to a failure in leadership. I wish to assure you that this chaos is going to be over soon. Last time in 2018 when you voted for your candidates, and voted for Meghalaya's self-esteem and self-respect with, with hopes in your heart and aspiration in your mind. Your mandate was not given respect. Your mandate was not respected. This time when Trinomul Congress is coming to you, let me tell you there are 1700 political parties in this country. Not 1, 2, 5 or 10. 1700. And out of this 1700 political parties, Trinamool Congress is the only party which is taking on BJP head on despite all their threat and not has cowed down to Delhi. So Meghala has to fight for their own right. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want your state to be ruled and governed by Guwahati or Delhi? Please answer me. 
Do you want Meghalayans to be subservient to people sitting in Guwahati and sitting in the ivory towers of Delhi? Or you want your own self-respect and come what may, we will not sell our self-respect and our spine to anyone. That has to be the mindset and attitude. This is the fight. So every Meghalayan has to be associated in the fight, irrespective of your caste, creed, religion and political differences. I want to assure you, in every stop, in every step of this fight, I'm going to be with you. Every Trinomul Congress soldier is going to be with you. And I want to make it very clear. In the next three months when elections are over and a new democratic progressive government is formed in Meghalaya, Meghalayans are going to rule Meghalaya, not people of Bengal or people of Delhi. A lot of places I have been in active politics for a long period of time. I have been the party's general secretary, I have been involved organizationally in various capacity. I have been to many districts, many villages, many places, many cities, many states. But the kind of love and enthusiasm that I have observed and witnessed, let me tell you, change is only a matter of time. It's going to happen in two months or three months. Nobody, no force in the world can stop it. And MDA, when MDA was formed, people thought it's going to be Meghalaya's Democratic Alliance. But MDA has only turned out to be Conman's My Development Alliance. If anyone who has made progress or any development that has happened, it has only happened to one family, one man, one person. You see the roads, you see the infrastructure, you see the hospital. It's such a beautiful state, such a rich state, rich state culturally, in biodiversity, in heritage, in tourism, it has huge potential, but still people of Meghalaya are struggling with unemployment. You have roads with potholes. You have hospitals without doctors. You have schools without teachers. Everything is in total shambles. This has to change. And if there is only one party who can change it, it is only the Trinomul Congress. I say and I repeat, make no mistake, a lot of people, most of us who are sitting here, we have all been ex-Congresses. We have been associated with the Congress before. Be it Dr. Sangma, be it Dr. Ping, uh, Mr. Pingrop, be it Dr. Uh, Bhuiya, be it me, be it the chairperson herself, Mamata Banerjee. But we realized that if you have to take on BJP's might, you can't be doing politics sitting at the comfort of your home in Delhi and on social media. You have to hit the ground. So if there's any party who has the fire in its belly to take on BJP, its ally partner and take them head on, it's only Trinomul Congress. You saw what happened with Mamta Banerjee in the Bengal elections. They tried every possible way to stop her. They even stooped to attacking her. Her leg was broken. Still, they thought that one lady, five feet tall, with the blessings of 10 crore people, taught them a lesson. So if Bengal can do, why can't Meghalaya do? It is time we teach them a lesson. That the kind of atrocities, kind of fake promises, kind of false promises you have made, and not kept, it's time we show them that what people of Meghalaya are capable of. Also have to prove that you are a citizen of India and we have all seen what a bust up list NRC was when the NRC was when the NRC list was released in Assam. So Meghalaya people of Meghalaya has to live as proud residents and people of Meghalaya. They will not sell their spine and surrender their self-respect to some other leaders sitting in some other districts or other state. 
That is why Trinomal Congress has come here. Trinomal Congress is just the platform. You see Trinomal Congress's logo. It's not a coincidence that you have two flowers. Can you see the logo, each and every one? Do you see the Trinomal logo? Do you see? Do you see the Trinomal logo? How many flowers are there? How many flowers? Two flowers, right? How many petals are there in one flower? Please be loud. How many petals are there? In each flower, three. It is not an irony or a matter of coincidence that it has got three petals. It could have got two petals, it could have got six petals, it could have got seven petals, it could have got two, three, four petals. But why three petals? Because every petal has a significance. If one petal stands for Gado, the another one stands for Khasi, and the one other one stands for Jayantia. And just like the two flower, flower has bloomed, Every one of you has to come in unison and support Trinomul Congress and the people of this state who have put their entire mind to take on the autocratic forces. You see the name, it says TMC. What does TMC stands for? Now most of you will say TMC stands for Trinomul Congress. I say yes, TMC does stand for Trinomul Congress. But another coincidence, another irony, that in TMC, everyone is united. We believe in unity, in diversity. If in TMC, T stands, T and M stands for Trinamool and C stands for Congress, then T also stands for Temple, M also stands for Mosque, and C also stands for Church. This is the unity in diversity we want to create and bring it. This is the India our founding forefathers of the constitutions believed in. This is the India we have to fight for. And Meghalaya has to show the way. In two, three months from now, the people of the state will be exposed to a new government, which a government which will work tirelessly for the all-round development of the state not for one's particular interest or benefits. We strive to protect, like I said, every Meghalaya's, every Meghalaya's right and land. No border MOU can be signed without the people's consent. The double engine government has failed to give Khasi language and Garo language its due recognition. Dr. Sangma, Dr. Pingro, and all the legislators went to Delhi, members of the parliament from Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha belonging to Trinamool Congress. We did, a, we did an extensive protest both inside the house and outside the house. And I assure you that we will not stop until and unless these languages, these languages are included in the 8th schedule of the constitution and they get their due recognition. It is my commitment to you. Do nothing and loot people's money. So we are standing at a very significant juncture and time. We are moving towards a very significant turning point rather in Meghalaya's political history. A juncture where we can either choose to side with status quo or strive for a better tomorrow. The decision is going to be yours. We can either choose to live the darkness of misgovernance, shout on us, or we can welcome the light of good governance in the days to come. I think Meghalaya's choice after today's rally is going to be extremely clear. Let those who betrayed you and your mandate know that they will, be not, they will not be left scot-free. There will be retribution from the end of the people. Let the master sitting in Delhi know that the hill state has enough fight left in them to challenge their, of, their oppressive and nefarious agenda. Trinamool Congress is the only party which has defeated the divisive forces, which has defeated the BJP. While the shoddy alliance of MDA has sold their spine and soul, soul to their masters sitting in Delhi, we honor the unique culture and traditions of 
Gado, Khasi and Jayanti are tribes. And I want to ask you all two, three simple questions. Do you all think in the last five years, Meghalaya has been pushed into a state of ruin? Do you think yes or no? Do you think you and your family has suffered enough in the last four and a five years? Yes or no? Louder. Show what you are capable of. of. Your voice should be heard in Delhi and there should be tremors felt in Delhi. Yes or no? Do you think you have suffered enough in the last four and a half years? Do you think Meghalaya needs to be saved? Do you think Meghalaya was pushed into a state of ruin deliberately? Yes or no? Are you ready to fight this battle? Yes or no? I want the voice to grow louder. Yes, it's almost corrupt government. Yes or no? Do you want to be with Trinamool? Yes or no? Do you want to fight for the people of Meghalaya? Yes or no? Do you want to save this state? Yes or no? Half months back, and today we immense pride we say and state that the Trinamool Congress has got all their active members throughout the state. And with today's uh, enthusiasm and turnout, my friends in the media and everyone present here might have observed and witnessed that Mihala, in fact, is on the cusp of change. And it's only a matter of time before this NPP corrupt government is approved. When you contest, you contest to win, not to lose. And Sinopo Congress is extremely serious when it comes to both the state, Mihala and Tripura. We have been intensifying both our outreach programs, membership drive and party programs in every local corner of the, both the states. And you have witnessed that. So come what may, the party is going to put its entire weight and fight both the elections with its entire might and vigor. And the party has taken stands against its senior leader. Will anyone from NPP or for that matter from BJP or for that matter from Congress or any other political party? We have the courage and guts to explain a leader like we have done. So we are very clear when it comes to corruption, there should be a zero tolerance approach towards corruption. And that is perhaps the reason why Meghalaya and the state of affairs in the state is in complete shambles. This needs to be changed and completely overhauled. There are no two ways about it. As the state has been ruled by MPP for the last four and a half years. You see the significant change, it's not in the government, right? But you have the hospitals without the doctors, the infrastructure is totally in shambles, the education system has completely collapsed. You have issues everywhere, from every in every field. So it's not that you have a double engine government, you have a BJP ally ruling the state and then you have a solution to every problem and quick fix to everything. That doesn't work. And we have seen that in the last four and a half years. That's why I deliberately say and when it comes to MDA, it's not Meghalaya's Democratic Alliance, it's Conrad's My Development Alliance. And that needs to be changed. When you talk about SCST, just a token representation doesn't work. When it comes to crime against the STs, the Shrew tribes, BJP state are ruling the charts. You see states like Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, these are all double engine rule states. So what is the centre doing? If they are so bothered about Meghala and the people and the interest of the state, why did they fail to include Khasi and Garo languages in the 8th schedule of the constitution? They have been running a double engine government, what's stopping them? Everything is at their disposal. So these questions will surface. And since they have done nothing, now you are hearing there are whispers in the media and everywhere else that NPP is being threatened of CBI aids and ED aids. So if BJP is not trusting its own ally, then who are we to say? So the question is in the, the question, the answer is quite clear to the question. In the past, what is the answer? Now, we have to say that 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 we to say that we have 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 to say in, uh, it will be uh, extensively consulted and we will have deliberations with every stakeholder before coming to or jumping to a particular conclusion. When you have, when you are fighting an election in a state, you see the condition of Meghala. It is in complete despair. And there is no two ways about it that it needs to be rejected and overhauled. 
like the education system, the healthcare system, the infrastructural collapse, the financial irregularities, these all needs to be addressed. And the same is the case in Tripura. You are asking me the question, you see what is the state of affairs in Tripura. The media doesn't have the right and the freedom to ask a single question to the Chief Minister. Or for that matter to any member of the ruling party. Media's offices are being burned down. No one has the right, no one has the freedom, the independence to walk on the street and raise a finger on the government. This is the state of affairs in Tripura. So this is what we are fighting against. And both are double engine jobs. You see the roads of Tripura? From Amitabha you go to Dhola, you go to Jubara Nauru, you go to any part of the state. The infrastructure is in total collapse. So we will definitely and aggressively continue to highlight and fight for the interest of, people, of the people of both the state. Uh, when three months away from the elections, and let me uh, cite a small example to you just to make sure that you are able to understand this subject better. Trinomul is the only party where the wind is flowing against the BJP. That means that we have two senior members of parliament who has left BJP and joined Trinomul party. This has never happened in India before in the last eight years. So people from the elected representatives, member of parliament from BJP are leaving BJP and joining Trinomul Congress. How many people from Trinomul will go and join BJP? Forget about that question. You should ask BJP how many BJP guys leave BJP or NPP guys leave NPP and join Trinomul. The winds are flowing in the opposite direction, like I said. Bola kuch hai, karna kuch hai. Bola kuch hai, karta kuch hai. Woh to dekhi rahe hai, aap sabhe chaal chaal. अभी भी तो वही हो रहा है आपने शायद वो डिप्टी चीफ मिनिस्टर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंसों का फसल भी चुना होगा जहाँ पे उन्होंने बताया कि वो लोग हमेशा वो लोग हमेशा झूठ बोलते हैं इलेक्शन में और झूठ बोल के वोट मांगते हैं और उसका झूठ से काम भी होते हैं तो आप क्या चाहते हैं उनसे